these out of biomedical film school lessons is about community. The online world provides a place for those who have a place absolutely nowhere else on the planet. You guys are gonna crap when you see this. This community we're gonna look at first is people who do vocal covers of loud, we'll call it, screechy music. So in hopes of impressing one of his favorite bands, he is doing a vocal cover of a deathcore song. Now don't confuse deathcore with death metal or metalcore music. Those sound like this. This guy displays all the standard deathcore moves, like the ceiling shout. The angry wombat. Or the hippo giving birth to a motorcycle. Factoid. When deathcore singers get laryngitis, they actually sound like this. The hills are alive with the sound of murder. Also, song choice. Wow your deathcore compatriots with 80s girl pop. <laughs> This sounds more like girls just want to skin me in my sleep. Other lessons. Deathcore vocal covers are all about location, location, location. Your location should allow us to see what in your daily life inspired your angsty suburban rage. So when you're singing, we can hear you go. I can't handle being surrounded by antique knickknacks. By the way, I love this dude in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Why are you so mean to Frodo? I'm sure you have your reasons. Parrot's basement is another choice location. <laughs> against the remote control. I my the remote's just thinking, I'm sorry I don't work sometimes, my buttons are finicky. I don't deserve this. Think through what you're gonna do during the instrumental breaks. What permutation of doing nothing will you execute? Uh, this dude actually starts texting someone. He's actually texting me. Here's what he wrote. What are you doing tonight? Trouble sounding like two dinosaurs doing it. Let this guy teach you how. I've just taken like little bits of that, like kind of slowly but quick, so it's like it fills up 